a video on cooking kidneys. So, not a lot of people like kidneys, and that's because there is a certain taste to kidneys um, that's a little bit off-putting. And what job they do in the body is a little bit off-putting for people as well. So, we need to cook them in a way to get rid of that certain taste, or to get rid of it as much as possible. And once we get rid of that certain taste, we're left with quite a delicate, soft, delicious meat, um, which is lovely, um, but not to everyone's kind of taste. So, there's two ways we can do this. Uh, we need to rinse out uh, the, that flavour. So, we can cut the kidneys up and soak them in water, and then change that water and then uh, just fresh water and then boil up that boil up the kidneys well simmer them uh, and then that will be more even more of the impurities will come out of the kidneys um, but the only problem with doing it that way is that the um, they're a little bit slippery and difficult difficult to kind of cut up so what I do is I'll leave them whole so we'll put them in the pan as you can see they're slippery and you haven't got a really sharp knife you're going to struggle to cut them while they're raw. And also there's the danger of them slipping and you putting yourself on the knife as well. So, oh, and we'll talk about the price as well. So, in a pan, uh, yeah, so they are cheap cheap. So these are peace kidneys and they are 2 dollars a kilo. So it's not much money at all. And if you like kidneys, uh, then it's a really cheap form of protein. So, now, you can't really do this method for well, you can do this method for, for lamb's kidneys, uh, but lamb's kidneys need to be uh, they're a little bit more delicate, so you just need to be a little bit more careful when you're cooking them. Ox kidneys tend to be a lot stronger, so you kind of need to repeat the process over and over again. So, kidneys in a pan, and then hot water, and as you'll see, we'll already get some residue coming out of the kidneys, so give them a push around, can't do this off camera because I haven't got anything to hold the camera, so switch those around, that'll get rid of that, some of the impurities that you're going to see, so change that water, fresh water in, bring them up to the boil and then a the slow simmer and you'll see lots of scum coming to the top of the pan, uh, we'll be back at that stage when we need to change the water again. Right, so it's a bit noisy because we're right underneath the fans. So as you can see, there's lots of scum that's come to the top of the water. So we need to change that water again. We might need to repeat this process three times to get all the um, scum and the impurities out of the kidney. So, I'll run the pause a Now, some people would soak the kidneys overnight in cold water, which would remove a lot of the impurities but you still end up with some impurities that were still locked in the kidneys so i just kind of think instead of having to faff around having something in the fridge overnight either soaking in milk or in water just seems like another step too far we're going to have to do this anyway so we might as well do it from this way from the start so we'll do it what we'll find is we'll do it three or four times and by that time the kidneys will be cooked through they won't be tender but they'll be cooked all the way through and then we can cut them up cut them up into smaller bits and then slowly braise them in some stock and they will be delicious. Now, so I've changed the water about four times, I reckon, and we have now got the majority of the sediment and impurities have come out of the kidneys and they are firm to touch. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to throw that last bit of water away, I'm going to replace it with cold water to cool them down, then we'll cut them up into uh, bite-sized pieces give them one more boiling up in water and then we'll cook them in some stock. These are cool to touch and they'll be a lot easier to cut up now. Um, I can't really do it one handed, can I? Do it like that, but you just be able to push your knife through like that. They're cooked all the way through, they're just not tender, so don't worry. Like We've still got the gristly bit in the centre which is tough, which we need to break down. So then just there, uh, there, uh, there. Uh, there. So, cut the rest of them up, one more, blanch them one more time in some water, change that water and then we'll cook them in some stock. Right, so the kidneys are now in some stock, you can just see them there. Um, it's some, well, it's not stock actually, it's a cooking liquid 
um, from some beef, but that's what we're going to cook it in. Beef stock cubes would be fine, chicken stock cubes would be fine, but you just need to cook it in some stock. Now, that is the liquid from the, the water from the final um, boiling. So you can just kind of see that it is still a little bit cloudy, but not that cloudy, so it's fine. So there's no kind of like big globules of coagulated blood or anything like that. But there we go. So that's that. So up to the boil and then a really slow simmer until the kidney is delicious and tender. I will add, some people will say there's no amount of cooking you can give kidney to make it taste delicious. That's your opinion. Right, so they are now really tender. So we'll take one over to the table and we'll just be able to kind of see. So it should just, that's the blunt end of the knife. Is Where's that? That's the blunt end of the knife, so that's just pushing straight through. So that's nice. Now, lovely and tender. Best thing to do is to let it go cold in the go back on. So now, <coughs> best thing to do with it is to let it turn the heat off and let it cool down in the stock. If we take the meat out of the stock to cool it down, uh, lots of we'll lose lots of moisture out of the meat through evaporation. It will steam, you know, all the steam that kind of comes out of it. We're actually losing moisture. So if we can cool it down in the stock, we'll retain extra moisture in the meat and it'll be juicier and tender. And then take it out when it's cooled down and then do whatever you want with it. If you want to speed up the process of cooling it down, it's not going to cook anymore, but if you want to speed the process up, stick that pan into a bowl of cold water. Um, so it's like a water jacket all the way around the outside of the pan. Uh, and then that will cool it and that will cool the everything down a lot quicker if you're in a rush but there we go uh, how to cook kidneys and make them taste delicious